we're here for another edition of the Outlook series, and I'm your host, Mike Lippis. In recent years, a lot of businesses have been drawn to the important role that application APIs play in enhancing the business model for a company. The focus has been more towards how developers can benefit and how APIs can help this group to introduce new capabilities. Currently, RESTful APIs for any enterprise application is being regarded as the next generation to service-oriented architectures. Organizations offering cloud-based software and services are heavily delving into RESTful APIs. It is therefore important for organizations and their software platforms to open the gateway of API for the future. Now joining us to discuss improving business models with RESTful APIs is Akshay Sharma. Akshay is a technical advisor at Cover Software. Akshay Sharma, welcome to the Outlook series. Thank you, Michael. So, uh, Akshay, um, what are the uh, key benefits of using APIs and software bus middleware in general? Thanks for the question, Michael. An API is an application program interface that allows for easier integration to tools and applications. Here, an application can invoke the third-party application, allowing for better, more holistic integration, integrated solutions to occur. This can extend the life of existing applications, can allow for increased productivity in reusing existing modules, allow for newer mashups of hyper-converged solutions and services to occur, perhaps with better workflow decisions being automated, perhaps better metrics in dashboards. While enterprise service bus solutions from vendors allow for pre-built, pre-tested integrations to third-party systems without having the need for knowing individual tool APIs, and having a vendor manage any API updates increases productivity. This leads to more seamless integrations, increased productivity, and better operational efficiencies to occur. Hmm. Now, Akshay, you know, when it comes to um, API teams, when should uh, centralized, decentralized, and or hybrid organizational structures be leveraged? Good question, Michael. As enterprises move their siloed IT or fixed product solutions towards the cloud and open their platforms to make it as a service, API team best practices include the creation of an API product manager and the API architect to be a centralized function with goals of turning IT from a cost center to a value center. An example is Cisco Systems turning their unified communications and VOIP products like PBXs and session border controllers to become virtualized as a service in WebEx. While these team functions can be decentralized, it would then make sense to have cross-functional matrix reporting within the distributed teams to ensure common APIs exist, common tools, common enterprise service bus solutions occur, and common analytics and dashboards are leveraged. Otherwise, we end up with disparate siloed solutions again. Hmm. Now, Akshay, um, API monetization is often the key to uh, digital transformation. So um, how can firms increase revenue with their API program? And uh, what are some of the uh, different API business models out there? Michael, as enterprises transform with digital transformation, many are looking to transition their IT from a cost center to a value center with newer business models. Enterprises can charge their customers using their APIs in different ways. For example, charge per transaction, charge by a subscription model, charge API access to their platform as an upsell, like what Salesforce does charge based on revenues generated in rev share approaches, or perhaps not charge at all, but collect analytics proving increased sales have occurred from the seamless integration, or decreased costs from operational efficiencies gained. Hmm. Now, um, what are the key benefits of Cover's uh, Omnibus? Thanks for the question, Michael. 
Colvier's Omnibus is a proprietary enterprise service bus offering with both synchronous and asynchronous data transfer between applications and tools. Syncing for real-time updates between apps and tools like a handshake where data between apps and tools are in sync. While asynchronous updates is more like, a, like an interrupt of data or a jab to continue the analogy. Asynchronous uh, syncing typically applies to desktop-based tools which, when activated, get synced with Omnibus and the connected tools. But Colvier's Omnibus also has many other benefits, including best-of-breed solutions integration. With over 90-plus pre-built adapters which are pre-integrated to the applications, some of the popular ones are IBM's tools, ServiceNow, SAP, Cisco's App Dynamics, CRM tools like Salesforce, and much more. Omnibus is also a hybrid cloud enabler. For example, we've got the Megaplex clouds, but we also have on-prem clouds, and then soon we'll have 5G edge computing clouds, all interconnected potentially with Covir's Omnibus. As we discussed last time, Omnibus allows for concurrent multimodal IT. Legacy applications lifecycle management solutions can be now interconnected with DevOps cloud-based services and vice versa, all securely connected with an added benefit of disaster recovery as a service, since Omnibus allows for resyncing if a server or server farm fails with zero loss of data using hitless synchronization between tools. And finally, Colvier's Omnibus, with full support for configuration-based API specifications without coding, well, that's of immense power because now organizations can have various benefits using Colvier's RESTful API middleware solutions. Hmm. Now, on that note, uh, Akshay, uh, what are the, the key benefits of Colvier's uh, RESTful API middleware solutions? Colvier's Omnibus platforms allow for the perfect blend of ESB, Enterprise Service Bus, and API flexibility with the capability to address many complex use cases. For example, typical integration vendors are either ESB bus platform solution providers or API middleware, but not both. Here with Covair and their RESTful API middleware, it can leverage their leading Omnibus solution and enhances it with automated configuration support. Colvair allows for automatic provisioning of Omnibus integration externally using their API platform. Here, users would raise integration requests in a provisioning platform that an API services team could facilitate. Users can then use this platform to review, approve, and finally initiate the Covair Auto Configuration Solution by invoking the Covair Omnibus API middleware platform. Organizations need to integrate their provisioning tool with Omnibus only once using a RESTful API and additionally using Covair's templates, reuse can occur. This will improve reusability. Covair's Omnibus API can be used to auto configure all the business mappings by providing a configuration template which can be reused over and over again to establish integration between tools and applications. Abstraction and easier migration to newer tools and applications. Many times legacy hard-coded solutions to third-party systems lock enterprises into suboptimal solutions. Here, Covair allows for easier migration to newer best-of-breed solutions using Covair's platform we can extract the integration data with Covair's automation API. We can then extract various transaction and configuration related data to transfer to newer solutions. With Covair's data lakes and its analytics capabilities and the syncing capability, these can be leveraged for disaster recovery as a service. Another benefit is visibility of the configuration setup. External applications can call the API to see the status of the integration configuration until the setup has been completed. This increases visibility of the process. And finally, security. 
Because all inter application delivery of services and information is often required to be secure, Cover's RESTful API platform allows for secure interfaces, which is a critical requirement nowadays. Mm -hmm. All this should enable a better collaborative environment for better quality, better productivity, better security, and support for better operational resiliency. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Akshay, to wrap up, uh, what are the uh, implications to business leaders for uh, Cover's Omnibus and RESTful API announcement uh, recently? Michael, there are many siloed solutions, some with software buses, some with data lakes, some with data migration solutions, some with API middleware prepackaged with configuration capabilities, some with siloed application lifecycle management tool support, some with DevOps support to migrate to cloud applications, some with dashboard and analytics and data lakes and repositories, but only, pa only Cover packages all of the above within one framework with workflow automation functions, as well as project lifecycle management functions for not only technical leaders, but business leaders as well. Hmm. Now, um, Akshay, uh, any final thoughts? Uh, and where can our audience get more information on improving business models with uh, Covey or uh, REST API? Thanks, Michael. www.covey.com has a wealth of information there. And one final thought I would highlight from this recent announcement is the notion of configuration-based development, also known as low-code development. Uh, my prior employer at Gartner has predicted recently that by 2024, low-code application development will be responsible for more than 65% of all application development activity. Mm -hmm. 2024 is only five years away. I believe Cover is the only low-code applications development platform vendor that supports low-code configuration-based RESTful API solutions with a workflow editor, a database migration tool, as well as enterprise software bus solutions with connectors to 90-plus applications, along with PLM project lifecycle management, ALM application lifecycle management, and DevOps support. So hopefully, this is truly a game changer. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Akshay. Well, I certainly appreciate you joining us again uh, here on the Outlook series and uh, wish you the best of luck with your endeavors over there at uh, Cover. Thanks a lot, Michael. Thanks for joining us today. And be sure to log on to the Outlook series site for your business and technology news.